Hey everyone! Welcome back. I am back today with more Vinland Saga, you guys. I am really excited to see what's going to happen next. If you're joining me early today, you already know what it means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much, and as always, I'm sending you up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in the description down below. So we left off on a cliffhanger with Vinland Saga last time, and I'm not going to lie, I'm, I'm scared. Um, they have built up in three episodes, they have built up Thor's to me so much. Like I'm already highly invested in him and I love him. And they even did us the courtesy of like giving us kind of a backstory last time. You know, we saw that he was a very different person before he had children and he was kind of, um, you know, and not, did not seem very gentle or loving and was just kind of all about the battle and everything. And he married like one of the leaders or general's daughters or something. And he was just kind of like, yeah, whatever, have a boy next time, you know? And then his wife was like, Doris, <laughs> I'm like, whoa, dude, you need, you need to go and you need to do whatever your wife is telling you to do right now. Like, you don't, you do not want to see that look on your wife's face. If you see that look on your wife's face, listen, do what she says. Um, but anywho, uh, it was interesting to see how different he was because now we know him as such a, he, he's so thoughtful and, um, really values peace and, and life and gentleness and everything. And, uh, and he has this really, um, gentle stoic strength about him that's just, he's just awesome he's wonderful and I'm I'm terrified for him like there's so many signs pointing to the fact that he is going to die there's the time jump that we know is coming from the theme there's just the fact that like there's a hit out on him um there's the fact that he's so awesome and we just saw him get into a fight where he was like wrecking house in the fight and I feel like I have seen enough anime and enough action and um, enough wrestling to know that like if somebody comes out and is having like a real strong start to their fight, sometimes, a lot of times, not always, but in a lot of cases it means, oh, we're going to show them doing something really cool and then they're going to die. I really hope I'm wrong. Um, but it's not, I don't know. I just have this gut feeling like it's not looking good. And then I was like thinking about it between last episode and this episode. And I was thinking, can you just fast forward and tell me that he died? You know, like just, just do the time jump and, and, and have it in a line of dialogue that like, oh yeah, poor, poor Thor's didn't make it. Cause I don't want to watch him be killed. I know that's the whole point. I know they would not build up his character. Um, to have him killed off screen, obviously. But I also don't want to watch him die. I really don't. I don't want to watch his son watch him die. Like, it's, it could not be worse timing that Thorfinn is here. And he's about to watch. Oh, God. I, or, you know what? Maybe I'm just totally wrong. Maybe maybe his dad's just going to be um, living a, a wonderful life in the time jump. And he'll be retired from his pot and pan making job and he'll he'll just be good he'll just be good I don't think it's going to be that easy um and I'll admit it would be a much more complex interesting show if they did go the route of you know having there obviously be a little bit more drama than that involved but I don't know I honestly don't know we'll see um a few cool things that were pointed out to me I had asked the question last time because we saw some of the kids in the village speculating about like Valhalla and you know we know they kind of idealize this warrior death um so that they can get into Valhalla and we saw a few of the boys I think asking um what about my mom and sister can they get in and I asked the question, like, oh, can women not fight in this setting, you know, in this time period? Um, and the answer was really cool because it turns out 
that women in this village, this kind of remote village, no, they are not warriors. But there were like a lot of warrior women in this time uh, period. And I think that's really cool. And hopefully we'll see them pop up. I don't know. I have a feeling we're, we're I don't know if we're going back to the village anytime soon. I have a feeling maybe we're, we're gone for good now. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. But you know what, guys? There is one way to find out. What do you say we jump right in? Next episode, Finland Saga. Let's go. And this is what they were discussing. The fact that, like, an entire brigade would get wiped out. Oh! Are these other... Just run. Just one, run while you can. Oh, that's right. He ate the, he ate the thing. He... Oh no. Oh, if it makes him like super strong though, that's gonna be bad. Oh! Never mind! Never mind! Oh, that wasn't the guy, okay. I thought that was the guy. I'm like, oh, he just took him out. Okay, this could be a problem. You're, you're helping him now, you're just... You're just taking out more people that Thoris was going to take out. Berserker mushroom. The worst kind of mushroom. Definitely don't put that one on your salads. Oh, maybe this will be easy. Not, not so easy. Okay. Yeah. All right. He is literally stronger than a monster. <sighs> oh, these boys. I sat. Oh, oh, Thor's, you're so majestic. Yep. Go back now and he won't finish you off. Yep. Look at the Thor was like, yeah! Yeah, no. I think this guy, I think. I think there's some underestimating of Thor's going on, yeah. But he gets it. He gets that Thor's knows what he's doing. Right. Except that's not why he came here. Huh? Oh. You have a leader smell. I feel like this should be easy for Thor's. But I don't know what this guy's made of. He knows who he is. That's not good that he's this confident, but he knows. He's smart, too. He's not just all brute strength. Baby. Yeah, stay out of this, sweetheart. Oh. Yeah, your armor looks weird. Oh, honey. No, baby, no. Stay back. Oh. So he doesn't see things the same way. What? Oh, oh no! Thor's! Oh, I'm surprised he even got in a shot on him, though. But he, he, oh, well, okay, guys. Nope. But I'm shocked he even got that far, though. Oh. No, please don't. Please don't. Oh, 
Oh, all right. Okay. I I have no clue what's gonna happen, guys. But. Oh, I don't know how he's gonna feel about his son shouting that at him. Mm. Oh, gave him a little trim. Oh, his swords are. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, my man, my man Thor's. He had you right where he wanted you. Heck yeah. Oh. So nice, but it's not, it's not really over yet, is it? He really doesn't want to kill him. And I have a feeling that's going to be a stoutful. He knows, he knows you don't, he knows you don't want to kill him, Thor's. Because he was done with killing. Oh. Look at that just like changed his whole life. Oh no. Is this it? Really? I thought he was supposed to kill this guy. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> no! Oh, son of a gun! Oh, God. That was the plan? Oh, you! I had a feeling he wasn't going to be that honorable, no. Now that he knows, he's going to use it against him. Yes. Oh. No. <sighs> just willingly, just and just still standing there like a pillar of strength. He's like still talking. Let them go. Okay. He got what he came for. As proof. Yeah, he'll come back and hurt the village. Yes. Oh, God. I think even they're like amazed that the kind of person he is right now. Oh, God. How is he still standing? Oh, Thor. Oh, no. Oh, please don't be a hero. Please. Oh, this boy's gonna die. 
I get it. I get why you'd. I get why you'd want to do it, bro. I do. Who are you to talk about valuing life? Oh God, Thorfinn! I knew he was gonna have to watch the whole thing. Sweetheart. He's gonna take that with him now. He's gonna take that with him. Because there's some things more important than winning battles. That was his family to him. Oh no. His whole childhood's gone. His whole childhood just ended. Oh no, this is as bad as I thought it was going to be. Oh. Oh no, you could see it in his eyes. Oh. He's going with them? Because he wanted to sneak on board and kill them? You know what? I, on a weird level, I think this guy gets it. He's definitely not a good person at all, but I think he, like, gets it. Yep. That's, that is not... That's like a rage that is not childlike. Are they? Don't tell me they're going to like take him in. It doesn't sound like they're planning to, but we know he doesn't die from the opening. All right, guys, let's talk. Um, I hate it when I'm right. I absolutely hate it when I'm right. Um... Yeah, so Thorfinn's gonna have a big complex about this because not only did he watch his father die, but that was him that they took hostage and he was the reason why. But like I was saying, I think I think uh, Thor's would have made that decision for anyone that they took hostage. And that's probably why they wanted boys from the village. Um, they probably knew... I don't know if they thought that far ahead, but it would make sense if they knew that, like, okay, if we take kids from the village, then we can hold one of them hostage. And it just worked out really, like, coincidentally way too well that his son happened to stow away and they could take his son hostage. Um, but, yeah, uh, he, he died exactly like the, the person that he lived as because... He died, um, or at least for the for the last fifteen years. We know before that he was a pretty bad dude, but um, he died protecting his family. He died doing the right thing. He died because he spared the life of an enemy um, to begin with. Although that guy probably was going to jump in and take Thorfinn hostage anyway, to be honest, but. I mean, at the rate he was going, he probably could have taken out, like, pretty much all of them fairly quickly. Um, I, I should have known, guys, when things were going so well for him. That's how you know. Oh, man, if only they had started playing the theme song, we would have known the bad guys were in trouble. But <laughs> no such luck. Um... Askeladd, I'm having a hard time figuring him out because I feel like... While he's kind of, a, like, scummy, he, there is, I feel like he did have some level of understanding of Thor's, um, and a level of respect for him. Um, in the theme, I might be confusing characters, but it almost kind of looks like, um, maybe Thorfinn is going to grow up with them, with his crew, but I could, I could be 
mistaking one character for another because there's a few blonde characters on the show like Leif is kind of blonde and and I might be I would be really surprised but boy that would be talk about like creating conflict for the show holy cow um but yeah no his his childhood just ended and I knew it was coming and it didn't hurt any less that I knew um the rage in his eyes to think that we started this journey with that childlike wonder in his eyes. And I, I think that's probably the last time he's ever going to have that wonder for a long time anyway. And we ended the arc with just that rage in his eyes. Um, yeah. And, and just like to see Thor standing there bleeding with arrows stuck in him and just, Still making sure everything's taken care of so that the village is protected and, and smiling at his son and saying like, I'm glad. Oh, man. I'll tell you what. The fact that I, I saw it coming from a mile away did not make it hurt any less. Um, all right. So I'm guessing we're going to do a little time jump now. Goodbye, mascara. I knew you well. <laughs> um... I'm guessing this is where the time jump happens. Um, okay. Well, we we have our we have everything set up now. We know there we know that at some point there's going to be a journey to Vinland. I'm guessing that is going to be a goal at some point, and we know now um, how we just established our main character Thorfinn. Um, very sad guys, but I'm I'm like hi I'm still highly invested, like four episodes in, and I'm this invested in the show. Um, that's a really good sign, and I think they're doing a really good job of um, giving me just the right level of world building exposition. I'm so glad that they held off on killing Thor's right away. Like, had they done that in the first episode, it would not have had the same impact. Um, they did a good job of like, okay, we're gonna, this is how we're gonna establish Thorfinn, but we are gonna make you love and adore Thor's first. Um, okay, here we go, guys. Um, as hard as it was to get through, I really enjoyed that episode. I think they, they, no pun intended here, they executed this in a really great way. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing more. Again, highly invested. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to join me next time. We're going to watch it and get through it together. Bye for now, guys.